I've tested every single class in Dark and Darker, leveling all of them to at least level 15 to unlock all of their perks. What I've found is that Barbarian absolutely dominates in PvP, especially in solos, but it's not the way people usually play Barbarian. Let me explain. Most people play Barbarian with big, clunky two-handed weapons that slow them down and are easy to avoid. However, thanks to this build, I can deal massive damage with a small horseman's axe while still having good movement speed. So let's talk about the build. We're going to run Axe Specialization. You get 5 more weapon damage to axe attacks. Notice that this is 5 more damage whether it's a big, slow, two-handed axe or if it's a small, fast horseman's axe. You benefit the most from this perk with faster axes because it's a bigger percentage damage increase and because you're attacking much faster. Next up is Savage, making your physical damage bonus increase by 10% when not wearing any chest armor. We're not wearing chest armor, which also helps us move faster, so we might as well have a 10% higher physical damage bonus as well. A 10% physical damage bonus is as much as you would get from 10 more points in strength. My physical power is 40%, but when I put on my plus 2 strength ox pendant, my physical power goes up to 42%. Next, we're taking Robust for 10% more HP. Pretty self-explanatory. Barbarian has high HP thanks to his high strength. Since you get 2 more points of max HP for every point of strength, 10% more HP definitely makes a noticeable difference on Barbarian, especially with stacking even more strength. Lastly, we're taking Morale Boost. Barbarian doesn't have great healing abilities, so this will help you recover a bit after fighting players. This also helps you fend off a third partier who tries to finish you off when you're injured from your previous fight. With my current health pool, I would instantly recover 22 health after beating a player, which is more than most potions or bandages. For abilities, these are pretty set in stone. We're running Rage for the plus 15 strength and 15% movement speed buff for 8 seconds. This is an incredible buff to damage and speed to help you win your fights and catch retreating players. The second ability is Achilles Strike. This is a weapon buff that makes your next hit deal extra physical damage while also slowing the enemy and making them take massive damage while moving for 2 seconds. Do be aware that Achilles Strike is wasted if you hit a wall or a shield with your weapon, so make sure to land this hit. By the way, Achilles Strike works on your fists as well, so if someone's running away, you can put away your axe with X, activate Rage for the damage and movement speed bonus, then activate Achilles Strike and punch the retreating player. With enough strength, I've two-shotted players with my bare hands and Achilles Strike. Don't run Savage Roar. If you're struggling with PvE and can't defeat mobs without Savage Roar, then refer to my best class guide, linked in the description. Now let's talk about gear. The most important thing you need is the Horseman's Axe, so buy the cheapest gray Horseman's Axes from the Weaponsmith when he sells them. By the way, you can dual wield Horseman's Axe and Hatchet and alternate left click, right click for more damage, but from my testing, it's not worth the movement speed penalty that the second weapon gives you. For the cheapest possible loadout, honestly, the Horseman's Axe by itself is fine. The Barbarian starts with boots for free, which is great. Depending on how cheap you want to go, you can buy some healing. For cheap healing, I like to buy two of the cheaper health potions from the Alchemist, then one of the cheap bandages from the Surgeon. If you're taking a lot of damage from goblins and other PvE, I again suggest that you refer to my best class guide from the description. If you want a bit more cheap gear, buy some gloves and leggings. Leather gloves are always available from the Leathersmith and give you one agility with no movement penalty for five gold. This helps you swing a bit faster and move a bit faster. If you're lucky and he's selling riveted gloves, buy those instead for the plus one strength, more damage and more health. If he's selling heavy leather leggings, Buy those for another plus one strength. If not, visit the tailor and buy loose trousers for eight gold to get plus one agility. As you're winning your games and getting more confident, you might want to risk a bit more gold in your build. Top priority is improving your weapon. You can buy a green horseman's axe and sometimes even blue ones from the Barbarian Trading Post for just 50 gold, plus the 15 gold transaction fee, of course. You can also buy an ox pendant from the Utility Trade Post to boost your strength. I recommend starting with just a green plus 2 strength ox pendant to get the most bang for your buck because higher rarities can get very expensive. Of course, keep an eye out for plus strength, or plus all attributes, or plus weapon damage modifiers on gear you can use. Don't forget, you can also buy the more expensive health potions and bandages from the alchemist and surgeon. I hope this helps. Honestly, I hope a lot more people use this so it gets nerfed because my other classes lose to this build all the time. Subscribe for more Dark and Darker and let me know if you have any questions.